What's up everybody, Sean Fruin here. So this is a fun little tip I just learned, thanks to John Pearson. So I've been doing some filming to for the website video for Sigma AC. So we wanted to get some dynamo shots, but we didn't like the white background. So at first I thought, hey, I could do this and it would work, but then we can't do this cool movement. So I needed a way to change the color of the background. So to do that, we're gonna completely close out of Revit and Dynamo and we're gonna go to this file path um, copy this out, save it somewhere just in case you mess something up. And then we're going to go ahead and open this with Notepad++. And it looks a little bit overwhelming, but I promise you it's not that bad. So they've even put this website in here to help us get pick out a color. So we're going to find a nice blue that kind of goes with my logo. Copy that color and then simply paste it into these two spots. So this is the background for the main one and then the background for like custom nodes. Um, this screen's gonna pop up. So this is my warnings from John. Please read through them. But now with that all done, we can save it out. And now we'll open back up Revit. And then open back up Dynamo. And then as you can see, there's our blue background. So this workflow would seem really intimidating to me, but as you can see, it's really easy. So don't be scared of getting into code. It's exciting. I'm looking forward to launching the website and giving you guys a lot more practical um, applications. Thanks for watching. Bye.